You've been seeing the Humvee for about 30 years now in a whole variety of military roles. Now the government's looking for something new, something more combat ready from day one. This is AM General's entry in that competition. The makers of the original Humvee have created something with better armor, more combat readiness, the blast resistant vehicle off-road or Bravo. The Bravo is a vehicle that has been in the making for the last 10, 11 years. And the Humvee was designed for a different type of, of mission. Uh, the Bravo, given the change in the battle space, uh, has to have a higher level performance from a mobility standpoint, higher level protection requirement, as well as carry more mission equipment for, from a payload standpoint. The Humvee did, was not designed for under body protection. So the Bravo has a higher um, um, ground clearance and is able to go ahead and apply the, a kit, protection kit, to the bottom of the vehicle based upon the, the, the variances of, of the threats. The biggest challenge with a vehicle like this is it has to be able to go straight from driving on an interstate highway right off into jungle, swamps, frozen tundra, who knows what. What are some of the capabilities in terms of driving off-road that I could do with this that I might not be able to do with my Camry family sedan? From a mobility standpoint, travel on all three types of road surfaces, uh, not only uh, hard-packed roads to trails, uh, improved trails all the way across country. Uh, do that with the same type of mobility, whether you're doing a lane change at 70 miles an hour, or whether you're stepping over an 18-inch vertical height uh, wall or, or obstacle. At the same time, you have to be able to go ahead and carry all the mission equipment uh, and then protect all those. All that has to be done, all within the balance of between uh, payload protection and, and performance. How does this whole process of developing a vehicle like this, you don't just get some instructions and build a vehicle. There is, as I understand, there's a competition involved here, and this vehicle is one of six entries in that competition and how does, this, how does this evaluation process work? The requirements, initial requirements for this started uh, several years ago. And then once we deliver it to the government, the government will then take it off to various test sites around the, the country and test all the performance characteristics that we said in our proposal that, that our vehicle will do. We'll t they'll test that against and evaluate it against the, uh, their criteria. And then ultimately we'll identify up to three awardees to be able to go ahead and move forward.